So I've just finished installing a new armrest cover for this 2007 Avalon console. And I have to say it is work. Um, but given how this original part is made, which is ridiculous, it's some kind of like heat formed thing. And given how nasty the hole was, it is what it is. I don't want to know what it would have cost me to go to an interior shop to have this done. Um, the part was like 25 bucks on eBay. So no gripes there. I wound up needing a bunch of different clamps. Really the smaller the better. These kinds of things are the most ideal. These are good after the fact helpers. You'll need a Phillips as well. Some kind of cutting tool. Probably an X-Acto knife. You'll be cutting some trim off of this in a couple places. So this is a pretty convincing leather microfiber synthetic and the stitch work is pretty good the backing is strong the shape is what it needs to be which is that you do need to stretch this um i did a pretty good job of the stretch this part probably could have been perfect if i had a little better idea of what i was doing maybe some type of interesting jig as well this is actually not a true curve to the plastic piece under it i've got a lot of extra skin here but um i tried to glue this near like my last step it didn't go well um so, I mean, it looks pretty good. I'd say defect-wise, I did kind of mess up on tucking this corner. I cut it a little too short, and I, I could have glued it one more session, but I was concerned about getting this lid back on properly along with that curve and thought to better have um, one little spot that's kind of hard to see than this getting dorked out on me. So I've never done any interior work, but like this anyway, <laughs> like normally it's very basic stuff if I do so uh it's all together um when you do put it together the last two silver screws are these guys and these are near the end as well the black ones that will be here um you basically start with this little t that sits in there drop that in place uh this won't be until near the middle and you put in one metal rail, wing this thing in, get in the other metal rail, drop in a screw here and here, and then these two guys here. You can do these at some point there as well. It's easier to get them before you put this, well, it's impossible to do once you put this piece in, so of course do it before that. So basically those three pairs of screws there, again, these were near the end. And um, then the kind of fun part is these other three, uh, all these are the pointed screws, uh, but these three, you have to put in this little metal trigger and its spring and let it caterpillar upwards. Very carefully land that on there, get at least two screws in and test it. And basically if this thing is all the way this way and locked, that thing should be pogoing with good action. In my case, I had a little bit of buildup uh, from my epoxy job in here that made that kind of loose up front. And then if you want to move this tray thing, you have to pinch the lock and this piece, depending on where you're at. Um, with having had all those little sliders that wore out inside the, the tray mechanism, it seems the action's not quite where it should be for the slider, but we, we don't use it, so who cares? Um, the last thing you want to do once it's in the car, is put this cover on by clicking it into here and then down to there and attaching your two small black screws because you have to get the other four not pointed metal screws into these holes here. So I'm going to slap it in the car in a minute and uh, call it done. I guess uh, I would point out that I made kind of a mistake early on I tested this and this separately so this is kind of my go-to super glue it's not the world's best but it's kind of versatile and um, it I thought it stuck but it does not stick well to ABS so this did not do well on my earlier test I also tested this earlier as well on Teflon like the white kind of nylon -y looking plastic Teflon and this stuff actually does stick to Teflon. 
um, along with the material like what's on his uh, on this uh, kit. So uh, that was good. Um, downside is this stuff smells like um, wow, what did it remind me of? Well, it stinks. I'll say that. And yeah, it smells like a perm, like a burnt hair or like near nuking hair off of something. It stinks horribly. Um, I wore a respirator because I don't even want to know what those fumes would do to a, a set of lungs or your head. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry I bought so much of this. I thought it was an actual type of epoxy. Uh, it seemed to say kind of semi-solid near days after curing, even with proper one-to-one -one mixture. And um, the five-minute working time is really unforgiving. Additionally, it's kind of messy. And so I was using a lot of like masking tape on my leathers uh, or the leather to keep it from getting on the surface that I was trying to put down. Uh, I wound up doing everything in steps. So the very first thing I did was just shape it out, pull it well, clamp it in a couple of places. And then I pulled the middle in and taped it here and here and glued it. And then I let that cure. I watched a couple movies and took breaks every hour or 30 minutes or so. Uh, hour actually, yeah. And um, then I pulled these corners in and glued those, then these corners in, glued those. Um, and then having pulled that well, the seam runs along, this apex of the seam runs along the apex of the edge, which is good. Additionally, um, you have uh, front and back to do. And again, I don't recommend messing with the sides at all. You'd have to be kind of looking for extra work. Um, so let's see, it looks pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of white lithium on this. I have to get out with like a kind of armor all type product. Uh, I wore gloves and I used a lot of paper towels um, between the epoxy and the grease. You just want to try to keep the mess to a minimum. And uh, it looks a whole lot better than the broken one. In fact, honestly, it, to be truthful, I'm not big on the stitching, but it, it's fine. Um, but the actual material is genuinely better material than what came off of this to begin with, which is kind of surprising that, you know, Avalon, which is borderline Lexus trim, um, was just kind of cheap space age material. So what I did use was these guys from eBay. They're on Amazon as well, apparently looking at this. And I will say that there was another brand that I was kind of checking out, but I went with this one based on the pictures. Um, they looked slightly less Photoshopped and a little more, uh, just a little better in quality overall. It was kind of a toss up. In fact, for the two sellers I was comparing, uh, I had equal concerns from the reviews and reputation. Um, and these guys actually, I think, I think they had less um, overall sales than the bigger guys overall, but for the product, who knows? So um, I, th I think, you know, honestly, money well spent, time, um, you know, what, what do you do? I mean, I'm definitely not paying somebody hundreds of dollars to fix something like this. So I'm gonna go slap it in the car and call it good. And uh, if you do do one, uh, just take your time. It's not the kind of thing you want to rush. And if you find a better glue or even a one-part type, one type cement, uh, throw it in the comments. I'm just curious what anybody else would use for the future.